What's up, guys? This is Jam One from Jam One CCD coming at you guys from the Garden City, Michigan, and Regionals with another Jam and Deck profile. So let's get to it. All right, so I am here with Michigan's top. Who is this guy? Uh, Tyler Morris. Cool. So what did you do? How did you do today? What did you play? Um, I played Ultra Guys, and I got 17th place. Nice. Let's do it. Let's see what you were running. All right. Uh, three drills, uh, three cherries. Um, I thought I was going to play more Sky Strikers, but I didn't. It all ended up just being like odd decks like... Uh, Burning Dino. Abyss? Uh, no, no Burning Abyss, actually. I um, play like two for some reason. <laughs> yeah, both my buddies were playing uh, like 37 Monster BA. Wow. Which is pretty cool. So. Fair. Um, but I guess like the best card I hit was Borlo after Scapegoat's Resolve. So. Nice. Um, Ultra Guys, all these ratios are pretty much the same for everyone. Um, the I one of to, this guy. Yeah, I decided to play the horse. Um, the horse is really good against Sky Strikers um, because it stops their attack and then negates their monster effect. So, um, I play two desires and two dualities. Um, this card is really awkward to open when you open up Meloseek because then you can't do the Link Revo play. There. Uh, so a lot of times, like I would wait to use it. So. Um, MVP was Mind Crush. Mind Crush. Uh, what was the best thing you hit all day? Um, I hit the kid, um, three light stage from a Trickstar player. That was pretty cool. Nice. Um, other than that, it's just kind of random. You can always activate it. So fair. Uh, three strikes. Um, it's good against the best deck. And it's good against. It's actually really good against Trick Stars. So even though you take the fifteen hundred, so, fair. Um, probably the best card in the game. Spoofy. Um, and if you open up any of uh, this and any of these, like you can actually play. Um, and then the new ruling with this was really strong all day. So you would be you're uh, you're able to activate this, uh, reborn something, and then um, you can spoofing chain to put this back in the deck. Um, and then this would resolve, um, and then this would also resolve, and then you can activate um, the multi faker off of this because it, uh, the multi faker sees this result. So wow, yeah, that OCG ruling is really good. Yeah, and that's if this is already face up. Everyone knows like if you flip this, shuffle, then you can still resolve multi faker. So these were pretty good. Um, you only need two of these. Um, three is too much because like it just kind of sits in the back row and like you want traps that like do something. Do something, got you. Uh, and then I didn't want to banish uh, the one off of Desire, so I decided to play two. Fair. Um, this card was really good. I don't had I didn't have access to the third, otherwise I would play it. Um, turn zero multi figures insane. So it lets you do a lot of stupid combos. Fair. Um, and then. I was hoping to play against more Sky Strikers, um, so I played two anti spell and The one. no spell zone cards, nice. I only ended up playing three, two or three, but it was like a trick star or two, so I was like, it's pretty good against that deck. So. Fair, cool. On to the. We'll do side deck. Side deck, alright. Um, I don't have a game of seal, so I played this. Um, Fair. It's even better in this deck because you can bounce it with Sil Siliquidos and like keep. You know, getting rid of their cards. Nice. Uh, last round I played Stun and I just tribute over his Inspector Border so I could actually play. Fair. Um, and then I played the Lava Golem um, instead of the raw sphere mode because people like to play around the raw sphere mode and then like don't play. I, I noticed that a lot lately too. Um, and then the MVP of the side deck was has to be this card. Inspector um, Border, nice. It came in in almost like every matchup. Um, it's really good against Trick Stars because like it just makes them vanillas. Fair. So, um, this is for the mirror, and then um, going second, like you pretty much auto side this because like you can't, you lose to this card. Right. So, um, and I only really sided this in um, my last round. I was playing against them, and 
like this card just blew him apart. So, Fair. Um, it was wasn't good against everything else. So. Um, double duster again. I didn't decide this in until I played against Stun. Um, and even then, like you have to worry about waking the dragon. So yeah, like, you have to be careful when you play it. That falcon though, you don't want to hit that thing. Um, and then the shirt ride was the last one. Um, this came in against all the trick stars. Like it's good because like it's better than missing and arrest because like at least you get you, at least you get like a card. So it's kind of like maxi a little bit. Um, instead of like uh, mistaken arrest, mistaken arrest, right? Um, where you, it just stops it and then like you don't really get any more cards. Fair. All right, and extra deck. Extra kind of boring. I played three of these because I had room. Right. Um, this was like the MVP. It comes like every game. Yeah. Um, I played both of these um, rather than just one. Um, I had the space, and then um, in certain scenarios, like it's like decent to actually ash this instead of uh, or cherries this instead of this. Fair. Uh, I never made this card. I pretty much don't even know what it does. <laughs> right? I've barely seen that one either. Um, and then Cherry Targets, uh, Soul Day, Buster, Double Helix, uh, Metal Foes, Electro, uh, Dante. The only reason I was playing this is because I knew two of my buddies were playing it. So. Fair. Uh, and then Borlo. Um, you should never be in a position to make this card, but cherrying is always nice. Nice. And then, um, I summon these every once in a while, but sometimes you need to cherry them. Um, Fair. Alright, cool. So, that's the deck. Um, any further questions, shout-outs, anything you want to clarify? Uh, shout-outs to everyone that let me cards. Uh, Sean Mon let me borrow the uh, evenly matched. Uh, my friend Brandon Morton let me borrow the uh, impermanence. Uh, my friend Joe let me borrow the Wink Karibo, so all the expensive cards. Uh, so I didn't have to spend money. So. Fair. Cool. All right. Thanks, man. Congratulations on your top and your invite to Nats. Have a good one. Jam1TCG signing out. Awesome. He's totally awesome.